Hi guys, here I am again. Um, second video now coming for you. The first one was um, a little look into my beading and it was a review of a bling order that I ordered. And now I thought I'd welcome you to my world of actually jewellery making um, to see some of the stuff that I've actually made. So I'll start off with something really, really simple that all beaders, uh, majority beaders start off with in any way, and that's simple stringing. So here we have, I find this quite more difficult than actually following a pattern and making, making nice pieces. So I just thought I'd show you these first. These are stretch bracelets, got a little charm on, um, that one's got millefori beads on, let me see. And um, as you can see, I quite like the silver and black with little charms on. They look really cute on the wrist, really sweet. So that's something that everybody can start off doing, making stretch bracelets. Okay, so that's them out of the way. So let's go on to something a little bit more up my street. So these are the same design. And... These come from, crikey, it was a free beading tutorial from Facet uh, Company that you can get onto by looking at Bead and Button on uh, Facebook. And then they put up new um, patterns every day from the Facet Jewelry and you just click on the Facet Jewelry and I download the patterns and print them off, so I've always got them. So I'll just give you a little close-up of these. These are beautiful. Take about an hour or so to make, but I think this one's my favourite. I love it, and it's made with a two-hold small cab in the middle with super duos, size 8 OC beads and 11 O's and 15 OC beads and I've attached that with a button clasp with just a ring of C beads and it attaches like that. I love this, so cool. Like I say, it takes about an hour or so to make, maybe a couple of hours. That's what it looks like on the wrist. Lovely, I love that. And then the, the one in brown. Brown and golds and bronzes. This is really cool. Gorgeous, beautiful. So that's that. And then another, again from the same company off um, Facet, Facet Jewelry I think it's called, Facet Beaders. Anyway, it's a website that, like I said, you get off bead and button. And again, that looks really cool on the wrist. And they're made with Super Duos, size 11 uh, C beads and Slinky beads, they're called. And then we're a two hold bead again and just put a simple toggle clasp on to make the closure. Lovely. Ah, again, this is another one off BD Facets, only um, I made my own clasp, my own toggle clasp. Made with Delica seed beads, the clasp is 4mm bicones, 15mm around the edges. Yeah, that's a toggle clasp that I made myself. And again, on the wrist, it looks quite cute. I'm just going to back off a little bit, guys. I think I'm a little bit close. Yeah, looks really cool. Made with. Um, Tillers and 8 OC beads and super duos. Yeah, like that's cool. 
and this is my own design. Um, little daisy flowers, this is a necklace, little daisy flowers with seed beads and a nice box closure. So that's a nice little, and those are made with um, super dubos, 8 OC beads and 11 OC beads. I'm not going to keep on telling you guys what they're made with, um, unless you really want me to. That looks really cool on, just sits around the neckline on your chest. Beautiful, lovely, and some matching earrings. Again, little daisies. Cute. I think quite a generic um, pattern, really. I've just made it my own. So there you go. Ooh, what else have we got in this box? Ah, uh, now then, this is one of my favourite, favourite um, lady who I follow. This is a design by uh, Gina, Gina Moody from Gina's Gems Creations. I'm a massive fan of Gina's. Um, I love everything that she makes. So this is one of hers. Let's see if I can give you a close up. Ooh. Beautiful. Nice piece of evening wear this one guys. Lovely. So that's Gina's Gems Creations. Ooh, Ooh. So thanks Gina. I've got quite a few of your bits in here. Ah, uh, this is oh, this is another one of um from Facet. There we go. In gold, and I've put a nice little gold clasp on the end there. This looks beautiful on as well. Look at that. Sometimes, you know, things don't look as nice until you put them on the wrist. Lovely. And again, another one from Facet in creams and a little bit of bronze or, yeah, bronzy copper tips there. The same design as that one, just with different bees in the centre. See? Lovely. And another one. <laughs> um, this time with a magnet closure. <laughs> Lovely. And what else have we got? No, I think this was off, I think I designed this myself, I can't remember. And it's just a netted back. And this took about three, four hours to make, believe it or not. All in blues and with silver beading on the edge. This looks quite cool. This looks nice with denim. Nice denim wear. Beautiful. Well, I think it's beautiful in any way. <laughs> so that's that and here we go with Gina again from Gina's Gems Creations I love this design and I've just made it in two different colours a purple and a turquoise uh, with little pearls and again look gorgeous looks so nice on um, and I just made my enclosure 
I think Jeannie used a toggle. I've used a large bead as a closure. And the same again for the purple. I've just used a large bead for the closure. A large pearl. And that's really secure, guys. That's not going to come off. Beautiful. So slinky. So move, you know, loads of movement in that. Beautiful. Onwards and upwards. Again, from the same lady. If you remember this one I showed you, that's her original design. Go to the right way, Jane. And with this one, I just didn't add the rest of the embellishments. Can you see? And this is really cool. Look at that, how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Lovely evening wear again. So pretty. I love it. So that's that. Um, bear with me. Oh yeah, this is something I came up with. Um, nice and summery, quite pretty, looks nice. Just a pendant that I made with Super Duos. And I just put it on chain and made a ending. I did make that toggle clasp, obviously. <laughs> but I attached it to the chain. So really nice oh if you've got a brew on guys this is one of my designs um, it's like a simple tennis bracelet and these look good stacked on the wrist like that Ooh. so you can have several Look good on in the wrist stacked. Um, there is simple right angle weave bottom and then just embellished on the top. But it's really slinky, and nice and movement. I really love these and then the smaller one in between. And then you can have whatever colours you like on these guys. Yeah, I think I'm a bit close. Let's just back off a little bit more. There you are. Hmm. There we go. And what else have we got? Oh yeah, another quite generic daisy. Oh, there's a lot of designs out and this one has got a clip clasp. So it just locks into position like that. Pop it. But these are really pretty. There you go. That go nice as a set. And you can also have these in anklets. Yeah, pretty. I love these. The screen is gorgeous. Really striking. In the centre of a daisy. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, let's have a look see. And these are two of the very, very similar design. Just with different beads and it just changes it up some. And if you can see them, we've got um, Quite a lot of bling. See if I can get a bit of a close on that because I don't think you can, it's showing up very. Ooh! Can you see the little facets there? Just gives it a little bit of something extra. This one also has facet beads there. But um, it's not as blingy as that one. Yeah, nice. That again, sorry guys, that again is from uh, Facet. 
And we have, ooh, where are we? Jill Wiseman Designs. Um, these are bangles. So just slip on your wrist like that. I think that one's a bit big, but hey ho. Yeah. Look pretty cool. So far a bit big to be fair. Need remaking. Those, I think I'm a bit close, guys. I've got to get this camera work sorted out, haven't I? Um, a simple macrame bracelet, but looks really cool. So, simple macrame with a little bit bling. These look nice on. So, you slide closure, so you open like that, put it on and then you'd tighten up those, pull them tight. Nice. But that's a simple macrame, or macrame, however you want to pronounce it. And you can see the macrame in between the beads. Probably see it better on the closure, actually. It's macrame. Or macrame. Another one of Jill Wiseman's. This is the bead um, daydreamer a design that Jill Wiseman did. I'm a big fan of Jill Wiseman. Americans have some fantastic ideas. So yeah, again, it's a bangle. You slide on. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's not coming off. To slide it off, roll it on these things, guys. You never stretch, you roll them. See, I think I did a few of these. I did necklaces and everything, They're very addictive. So, that's the Daydreamer from Jill Wiseman. And I haven't finished this, as you can see, it needs a uh, clasp. But this is, I can't remember what the dawn. I'll come back to that, I'm sure I'll remember. It'll come to me what it is. Another one of my favourite um, designers out there is Off the Beaded Path. Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path. And this is a version of, of her um, magic carpet um, bracelet. So it's weaved on the bottom with big, I think it's six O's base and then you decorate the top. This took about three hours to make and again it looks fabulous on, gorgeous. Lovely. Um, this is another, I can't remember who the designer of this one is. This might be a Kelly's Off the Beady Path. Might be, oh dear, I can't quite remember. But that's Super Duo, flowers down the middle, and then big beads. I think I want to remake this. I'm not quite happy with how big these beads are on the outside, but that's what the design called for. But I'm not feeling it. And again, another magnetic clasp goes on. Mine well, looks really good on. Like I say, you always have to try these things on. Never look as good off as what they do on. And I've put a bit of a safety chain on there so it doesn't slide off. So that's that. And. Ooh. I don't know if I've got the other one to this in here. I can't remember, I think I even made the one as a test to see what would come out like. Yeah, I only made the one. This is another of Gina 
Gina Moody's from Gina's Gem Creations. This is beautiful. Oh, it's an earring, but also do the bracelet as well that matches. Oh gosh, I love this. Can you imagine being on a prom evening or evening? You, you could have these done in wedding colours. Oh god, look at the oh, just beautiful. I love that. Oh god. To make one earring takes a good near enough an hour to make. But oh I love that. And oh here we go. Here's the bracelet to match. This is the oh look at this. Gina, I love this design. This is my favourite design. So that's the bracelet. And there's an earring. I must have the other earring somewhere in here. Oh, I found it. There we go. Ooh, there we go. So a beautiful set. Gorgeous. Love this. Look at that. So blingy. You need to go check out uh, fellow beaders, Gina's Gems Designs. Beautiful. It's one of my favourite ever. I can make loads of those. Oh, there's another one of um, my design, like a tennis bracelet, the ones that you can stack up. See how cool them are stacked? Gorgeous. Beautiful. So, ah, this is another of Gina's designs. This looks cool. And it's got, I don't know if you can see on the camera. That stands up. Beautiful. So that's Gina. Oh, I do love Gina. <laughs> um, this is from one of Karen Dunlops, who I buy a lot of my beads from. Um, Star. I can't remember the name of the design lady. She gets um, a lot of her patterns from that you can buy in. Um, Kits from Karen. This looks really, it's only dainty, little tiny, but very effective once it's on the wrist. Look how pretty that is. Really pretty. That would look nice as an anklet. Make that into an anklet. Ooh, ideas. Isn't it funny how they come along while you're looking at your beading, beading work? Gorgeous. And we have this. Oh. I love this. This is off Kelly Dale from Off the Beady Path. This is one of Kelly's designs. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. Nice big pearls. Nice bit of bling. Look at that. Imagine an evening out. Gorgeous. So that's that. And. I love this. There's three here. <laughs> so I can stack them up, different colours. Gorgeous. Really pretty in summary. Can you see this takes a while to make as well? And this is Alicia. Um, what was it? Oh, it'll come to me. Um, beading for beadful nights. Yeah, Alicia from Beautiful Nights. I like her stuff as well. She makes some nice things. 
So that's those. Thank you, Alicia. And I've got a couple of anklets. These look great on. And this is another Alicia from Beadful Nights. Those look great on, really pretty on. I've got one in like blues and whites. And um, dusty pink, dusty pink colour. Lovely, that's an anklet as well. Lovely jubbly. And a very simple design. All it is is sea beads with those mini bricks in between and I made a tassel to go on it so with a simple clasp it looks effective you know when you saw with the clasp and the dangly cute 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 <laughs> and this takes an age to make, but I love this. This is really cool. And these are gemstones on the end, gemstone chips on the end there. Yeah, that looks really nice on. I think I've got another one of these in purple somewhere. So yeah, nice, nicey, nicey. And Wow, I was making, I haven't quite finished this. This is a beaded rope, a spiral. So I need to finish this. And I've made a tassel. And the tassel will go on the end here. So that'll be a nice necklace. The tassel. I mean, these could be used as bag charms. I've got one here that could be used as a bag charm, and I've also got a black and white one that could be used as a tassel, or I can easily put a um, clasp on to make it into a bag charm. Black and white, the gold. I love making these, love making these tassels and the purple one for my spiral rope. This, these take ages to make as well. You've got to sit in front of the tally and uh, bead away. Yeah, I love that. Beautiful. Close look for you guys. Lovely. Really enjoy making those. Right, I'm going to pause for a minute as my camera is about to die. So I'm going to charge the camera up and I will be back. <laughs> 